beautiful people. My name is Kathy, traveling with Charity, and I travel part-time with my babies, Hope, Faith, and Cassie. And we have a good time. And I think I am going to be traveling soon. Pretty much the month of August. Just to get a break. It's going to be monsoon season then, probably full blown, and I don't really want to be here when it comes down all the time, and my place is a muddy mess. Not my place. Thank God I got those um, rock things, because all around, um, it is really, really bad, and it's like a pool of, um, of water in certain places, and definitely on the road. On the roads, it's just horrible. You know, people get stuck inside the, um, in the roads. Even four-wheel drives get stuck. Uh, last year, this guy had this four-wheel drive truck. He was stuck and he had to get pulled out and I'll tell you he made it even worse it was just it's just horrible now it's like a big gash in the road and when you get really big gashes in the road it's nothing but a pool it's just so where I go thank God it's only a mile but still it's still horrible and uh one of my neighbors, he laughs at me so badly because he goes, I don't even understand how your car can even go in and out. And it's a two wheel drive and it's a little tiny thing. My car is this big, as you guys know, it's this big. <laughs> and, um, and I just do it, you know, only because I have to go to work or get gas or, you know, whatever. So anyway, no part time today. Woo woo! I'm on my way to Flagstaff. You know, when I'm off, I like to to get out and get stuff done, and um, or just get out because it's really too hot to do anything besides get out and be in the car. But don't worry. My babies are just fine, you know. I know a lot of you worry about where what happens to your babies when you're gone from work and all that stuff. They stay cool. Trust and believe. Those are my babies. I don't want my babies suffering, you know. The sun is right over here. That's why you can't see my, my whole face. But anyway, yes, I'm going down to uh, Flagstaff today. You know... In Williams is there it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and especially for the tourists they have all of those wonderful stores the restaurants and um, I don't know about nightlife because I didn't uh, there's bars I do know that but I don't know if it's I don't know how long it stays open but I mean the town is so little it's so small. First of all, the post office, for instance, it opens at 8, closes at 3.30. Who knew? And they're, they're closed Saturday and Sunday. Because, you know, sometimes uh, post office post offices, they open at, on Saturdays, but they close like around 1 or something like that. There is one police station that is just a house. <laughs> we can live in it. Um, there's a fire station. You never see anybody in there. Because uh, sometimes, you know, when I was in the city, um, fire station doors used to always be open and you could walk by and and uh, say hi to them and they're doing their thing on the truck or whatever they're doing. And here, I never see it open. And uh, the banks, I went to the bank yesterday because I wanted to, there's only one bank in the town, first of all. 
I wanted to open an account, you know, make it uh, near me, you know, because I do have Bank of America, but it's all the way in Flagstaff, blah, blah, blah. But you have to make an appointment to open an account. Who heard of that? Who, who's ever heard of that? I've never heard of that. You know, uh, I was with Bank of America for, I'm with Bank of America for 100 years, um, ever since I was like my early 20s or even earlier. You just walk in and you see somebody uh, and then they just help you out. Here, no, you got to make an appointment to open a bank account. You know, as many places that are always advertising you know, open my open a bank account, but it's a small town, so everybody's trying to do the same thing. It's a small town, but it's getting so crowded right now. You know, it's so weird, and I'm not complaining about it. But by my house in the mornings, I used to hear um, uh, what are those dogs? They're not dogs. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. Yep, 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 yep. I don't even hear them anymore. So many people are moving in that they're like, I'm not even coming by there. And then there's so many rabbits because rabbits are like, yes, I'm coming by there because the coyotes, because the coyotes aren't there anymore. It's just crazy. And I am not complaining. Coyotes, stay away. You know, but it is so weird. And people are, get a... Um, a misconception about coyotes. Coyotes are afraid, afraid of us. They really are. They don't want anything to do with human beings, but they are smart, smart, smart creatures. They are the type of creatures that will be in a pack, hush, see a dog or whatever, be in a pack, and uh, send out the smallest coyote to uh, go and play with a dog and like think that they're playing and then run towards the pack and eat the dog up. See, and that's what I'm afraid of. Cassie, she needs to learn. That's why her butt is always, um, uh, well, Cassie and Hope, they're, they're, if one is on a lead, the other one has to be on the lead. I just don't want it to seem like I'm just, um, you know, making Cassie be on the lead. So if one's on the lead, they both have to be on the lead. Hope is like, see, man, you done messed up everything. Now we got to be on this doggone rope. But anyway, enough of that. I'll show you where what I'm going to be doing when I get to uh, Flagstaff. And I am not buying any more trees. I think I'm um, done with trees. Four is enough. A lot of water. Lots and lots of water. And I gotta order some water. Actually, I gotta have them come deliver me some water because we're using a lot of water. Anyway, I'll show you what's gonna happen when get to Flagstaff. I'm excited and I'm also excited to get back home because I, when I'm off, I really like being with my babies. I really, really do because they are my sweetie pies. And oh, before I go, I want to let you guys know that Hope is loving the house now, but she's still not coming in the bedroom with me. But she is ready to go home. She's like, I'm ready to go home. That's it. She's, she's walking. To, when we come back from the walk, that's the first place she goes, right to the house. And, and Cassie loves the house because Cassie, her little cute little butt, um, I'm yelling and screaming for her. I had the door open. I'm like, Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. She peeks her head out the door and goes, what? What the heck do you want? Why are you bothering me? So that was so funny as heck. So anyway, I'll, I'll see you when I get to Flagstaff. Okay, I just got out of Walmart. I want to 
want to show you something. Walmart has uh, no parking and no overnight parking, I should say. Um, what is going on? I can hear something crazy. Anyway, it's no uh, overnight parking. Let me show you. No overnight parking. The signs are everywhere. That wasn't me making that noise. It was the car behind me. <laughs> I was like, what is that noise? Anyway, uh, when I pulled up, I'm finished uh, shopping and everything. And I mean, it says it everywhere. No overnight parking everywhere. I mean, there's another sign. Uh, let me come, come in. There's another sign over here. There it is in the corner, but check it out. They're very lenient and that is so cool. There's an RV there. There were so much more. I guess they were like, okay, I gotta leave. There's a uh, van there. He's making coffee. And there's another van here. RV. I mean, this is just so cool. But I gotta tell you, every time I come to this RV, I mean, this uh, this place, this RV is always here. So that's the kind of people that make it bad for everybody else. This one is always here. He might go away and then he'll come back. There's another RV. There's the homeless on the corner. Smile, it's a beautiful day. Okay, and he waved and he probably sang God bless as well. There's another one here. We could really use a little help and he has three dogs I am just if I would have known that I would at least had the the um bought him some dog food I can't believe why are you out here why you have three dogs I mean seriously and there's another homeless she's in a wheelchair what the heck is going on this is the United States of America I just, I am so, sometimes it just gets me. <sighs> and I just said a little prayer for them. Just, I just don't get it. I don't get how we are supposed to be the richest country maybe not the richest, but the freest. And we have these people that are totally homeless and women and men, oops, women and men that not just want to work as a As a, as a person that's 62, 65, 70 years old, they, they have to work. We have to work. It's just, this is the United States of America. My mother shouldn't be working right now. You know, a lot of people shouldn't be working, but they have to work. I mean, there's like a person that's, that's, um, that we work together and she has to work and in pain it's just ridiculous but anyway let me get off of that that's just I don't know what made me say all of that maybe it's because of the homeless the homeless people um but yeah anyway I I, I have to find where I'm going
my next stop. So let me pull over and I'll see you in a minute.
It feels so good to be finished with the laundry, even though it was only one load, just one. Yep, so now that is it for the day. And now I'm on my way home before it starts raining again. And go see my babies. Yay! <laughs> I know I miss them. There's a there's a a dog next to me uh, in a car, and his daddy just went in. And I swear that baby sounds so pitiful. Woo -hoo -hoo! Like, oh my God, you're leaving me! Don't leave me! Uh, Cassie sounds like that when I get home. When I'm parking, she starts barking, but her bark is just from the heart, like, rah, rah. so freaking cute. But now I'm getting ready to go see them, so I am happy. So I'll see you when I get home. They are remodeling this hotel. It's an okay hotel, so I guess it's gonna be a lot better. But I remember telling Anthony, that's the hotel that I got kicked out of. I was so disappointed. Um, and this was like years ago, it's so funny. I don't even think I knew Anthony at the time. But I was driving through Williams and it was just so hot and I didn't want to boondock because it was just so hot and and my babies were not happy. I wasn't happy, so we stayed in that hotel for at least, I guess, a week or so uh, before they found out that I had three dogs instead of two. Most hotels will let you stay with animals, but it's two uh, maximum. Isn't that sad? So I snuck Faith in. I think it's just when I had just gotten her or something like that. I don't remember, but yeah, I got kicked out. And I had paid like in advance for another week and they were like, sorry, you got to go. Yep. And it has a restaurant in there. It has a swimming pool. I was so disappointed that I had to go but it is what it is, and they saved me some money. I finally made it home, and now I'm walking the dogs, and hell, walking me as well. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging with me today. It really means a lot. Ooh, there's a lot of ants right there. It really means a lot to me. Thank you to the old subscribers, the new subscribers, and the subscribers to come. I'm so excited. Hi, Faith. She's breathing hard as much as I am. <laughs> anyway, guys, make it a great day and be free. Be free.